Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vandy and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I am going to first apologize to all of my subscribers. I've been MIA for the last couple weeks or so and that's really because if you don't already know, I live in Austin, Texas and the last couple of weeks we have been hosting South by Southwest here. Um, basically a, a festival if you don't know anything about it it's, it's basically a, a huge festival that celebrates the arts technology education um, it's just a really good uh, way to meet people and network and I had the pleasure of sitting on a few panels one in particular uh, for creative entrepreneurship and I was able to give some advice to a lot of creative entrepreneurs out there so that was super exciting um, last week was also spring break for uh, most of the school districts here so not only were my kids out of school but everyone else's kids were out of school and of course everybody wanted their hair do you girl so I had quite a few hair clients last week so I've been busy 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 and I am back to, I think back to normal. I think we're gonna get there. Don't worry. One other major thing that happened in the last couple of weeks is that we grew over about 200 subscribers. We're at, let me see, we're at right now as I'm filming this, we're at 315. I just kept getting notifications, 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 and I didn't know where it was all coming from, but that means you guys are liking my content so make sure that you like comment and subscribe and share it with all your friends and family because i am here to help you all so welcome 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 all of my new subscribers i am going to be i won't be mia i promise i won't be mia as long as i can get my stuff together i won't be mia so without further ado here is the video on the Amazon try on haul. I hope you enjoy it and I will catch you in the next video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different for me. I'm not really good about taking full body pictures so I'm not I'm obviously not good about doing videos and full body pictures, but I have been wanting to do this for a really long time and that's to do a try on haul. Lately, I have been super reliant on Amazon to service all of my needs and that includes clothing, especially if I have an event I need to go to or if um, I have a special occasion coming up and no, I will not have time to shop. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys a haul. Four items that I picked up in recent months. One I bought a long time ago, but I've only worn one time. Everybody knows that it is difficult to order clothing online, but I have not missed, I have not missed a beat yet. So um, the sizing is pretty much on par. I make sure I read the reviews. Um, to see if there are people who are in similar height and size as me to make sure that I'm ordering the right size. Some of them may not fit perfectly, but that's not something that you know you can't get fixed by a tailor if it is that serious of a thing. The other thing I want to mention is that all of these items are super affordable. It's not like you have them come out your pocket, which is one one reason why I like Amazon because I can filter out what I want you know what my budget is for the week and keep it moving make sure you check the description box below that's where i'll leave all the information to these items um i will also leave um my my height and weight and my measurements to kind of help those out there better gauge what size they may need um these are all prime items um and if it is not currently a prime item just research it and you will likely find it as a prime item. They also come in, a lot of these items also come in several different colors, so don't let the colors throw you off. You will probably find what you're looking for. So but yeah, the first thing I have is this item that I picked up some months ago. I only wore it one time when I went to Dallas for um, a family function, um, but it is a green, it is this green jumpsuit. And it's you've probably seen it all over Amazon but it has the slits in the legs really stretchy it also comes with a also comes with a little belt to go with it um, 
yeah i picked this up because i thought it would be cute and actually when i was trying this on recently i forgot that i have been on the keto diet and i have lost a considerable amount of weight so i look very different in it than i did before um, but i did pick this up in a size medium i could have sized down because it is so stretchy um the one thing i really really liked about this is that um i was able to wear the sleeves up or wear it off shoulder i thought it was a lot more flattering off shoulder and what else about this that i like the only thing about this too is because i am short a lot of these items um the legs are too long but i like the fact that because it is stretchy i'm able to kind of like ruch the leg up and you can't really tell and i don't i didn't have any problem with the the jumpsuit falling down at all um in the clip you see here i'm actually wearing a body shaper which i also got from amazon and i'll give you more details on that later on in the video but it's as you can see you can still wear this with a body shaper you don't have to depend on the material itself to shape you up girl so yeah i could have sized down on this because the, t the material was stretchy but it ended up being a huge hit i loved it it was super comfortable i love rompers because i ain't trying to be too sucked and tucked everywhere i go but that's it for that moving on i got this number here this is another stretchy out uh dress this is a dress and it's also kind of made of the same spandex material this is what it looks like super super cute i picked this up recently for valentine's day me and the hubby went out to um an event for valentine's day and i wanted something i kind of wanted to keep with the theme <laughs> uh, without being like too over dramatic with the red so yeah I picked this up this one also comes in like a full red with the uh, detailing here in black so this one falls under and I'm not even gonna say the name just just click the description box below because you know these names be long just for no reason but this one was super affordable as well I think it was only like 20 bucks or something like that um, came in prime so it came in two days so it came on time I had time to look for it um, but yeah, it hugged all of my curves perfectly. I love outfits like this that have something that I can adjust. I can adjust the, uh, the, the bust part for because that is the part that is accentuated the most on my body. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this one right here gives you like pop, like, yeah, because of the detailing, like it kind of cinches your waist a little bit and it makes it makes everything look super snatched i also did wear this with a body shaper and it looked perfect next one i picked up is something that i haven't worn yet i have not worn this yet um and i'm gonna tell you why i haven't worn this yet this is another jumpsuit and it is a sequence jumpsuit as you can see it has beautiful beautiful color um, however, it also comes with um, a belt with it. So when I saw it on the website, it looked amazing on the model. And I'm just a jumpsuit type of person and I wanted to wear sequins for New Year's, but that ended up not happening. And now all of a sudden all the sequin stuff is starting to pop up on my, on my feed. But anyways, um, I picked this up because I thought it was so cute on the model and I wanted something super bright and super, you know, blingy. However, when I got this, I was sadly, I was sadly disappointed because one, the first thing I noticed was it is see-through. You can't really tell because of the color and the detail, but it is see-through. So if you're going to buy this, you need to make sure that you have on either a full body um shaper or make sure you have something black or blue um as far as bra and underwear go underneath this second of all you are gonna need a full body shaper because this does not have any lining there's no lining on the inside of this thing so this thing it's just like nobody's business itches like nobody's business so 
I would say make sure that you have some kind of full body jumpsuit like one of those black stretchy ones to go underneath it or a bodysuit not a bodysuit but like a um, shaper of some kind especially something that has long sleeves because it is not lined anywhere on the inside of this thing so so unfortunately the other kind of this is that when you see it on the model the model is very shapely however when you go to put this on the zipper in the back the zipper in the back only goes down to about here the only way you can get into this thing is if you step into it but because the zipper stops so short i could barely get my hips into it so i had to struggle to get my hips around it only to find out once i got it on there was still a whole bunch of bagginess down in the hip area because one i don't have a whole lot of hip honey i don't have a lot of bunky know where i'm gonna get that fixed later on but i don't have a whole lot of hip situation but to sit but because it was so difficult for me to get it on that led me to be believe that they made this for shapely women however they did not think about the functionality of this if the zipper was a lot lower which i could probably get fixed I could probably get the zipper lowered a little bit more and then get the uh, the bagginess in the front taken in. Um, <clears throat> if they had lowered that zipper a little bit better, it would have been a lot easier for somebody who had hips to fit in it, you know, to get it on. So yeah, other than, other than those cons, I love the outfit. It's just, I'm gonna have to make one too many alterations and I'm gonna have to buy a whole freaking bodysuit, long sleeve bodysuit to wear underneath it. So I probably won't be wearing that anytime soon. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might save it for next year for a, another occasion of some sort. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Hit and miss. Moving on to last but not least, my favorite. This one is my favorite. This one is another sequence outfit but this one is a sequence tracksuit and I'm sure you've probably seen this all over the all over Amazon too it comes in a lot of different colors but this is what it looks like this is the color that I got let me see what they call the color on the website so the color on the website for this one is brown but it also comes in like silver and white so yeah this is a two-piece tracksuit this is the pants this is what they look like and then this is the top this is what the top looks like this is probably one of my favorite amazon buys so far i absolutely love this and the better part about this one unlike the last one is that it is lined so it is comfortable it's not that see it's not very see-through at all but I did wear this with um, black, with a black bra, and I think I wore black underwear. I can't remember. Anyways, I did wear this at a previous function already, and everybody loved it. It was so fly. Um, but yeah, it's super comfortable. The other thing about this is that it does come in two pieces, so you can pair this with um, something else. So I could wear this with some black pants, um, some black shorts, um, a skirt. I mean, I can, I, can, I can make this work with anything. I could pair this with a crop top of some sort. Um, so yeah, this is probably gonna be in my collection for a long time. I'm not the type of person to wear my pieces, especially if I know I'm gonna be taking pictures or in an event or something like that. I will not wear my pieces probably more than twice in a year. So, I, since I've already worn this, I probably won't wear it again until later on in the year and I will probably pair this up a little bit differently. But yeah, the only con I didn't like about the outfit is that I did order this in a size medium. I could have sized down, but I did. it's a good thing I didn't because the top runs a little bit smaller for us bustier gals, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
because I am busty on the top and not so busty on the bottom, um, I do have to size two-piece outfits based on my top. So because of that, the bottoms were a little bit too big, as you can see in the clip. Um, they fit all the way up to underneath my chest. So because it, it's not a bad, it's not a you know a deal breaker because the top does cover the bottom um, half of that, but. <clears throat> I did find myself having to make sure that I kept it up all night so it didn't, you know, sag and bag on me. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, I just loved this outfit. It was so comfortable. It was still classy. I was completely covered up, wasn't nothing hanging out, and I was still looking like a million bucks. What I wanted to mention is that in all of the clips you saw today, I was wearing also a body shaper that I got from Amazon recently. My last one was on its last leg, so I had to get a new one, and I also didn't have a black one. Um, this shaper is a bottom shaper. This is what it looks like, and I also got this one on Amazon. Um, it is super affordable. I think it was only like $13. I absolutely love, love, love this thing. Um, I love the boning in it. It has boning in the top. It also does not roll down. I don't know how they're able to make that happen, but <clears throat> it doesn't roll down. It is super, super breathable and super comfortable. Um, not too tight. And that is actually what, the fact that I was able to wear it under a lot of outfits that you could not see the seams in was a plus for me. The fact that I was able to wear this under that green romper without it looking like bulky and crazy underneath and I was still able to get shape 100% yes, girl. Go ahead and get it. The only con about this is that the sizing is completely off on the site. So this is actually the size triple X large. I mean, if you were getting this anywhere else, it would probably come in the size medium. So be careful in your sizing. Pay attention to the size chart. All of the reviews said the same thing. Make sure you size up about three or four times. This may not be for plus size ladies, um, but you may wanna check with the seller to see if they sell a different type of shaper in a larger size. But yeah, the sizing is completely off on this thing. I, I've always gotten my shapers in either a small or a medium. <clears throat> and the fact that this is a triple X large just throws everybody off, but that's why it pays to read the reviews, take your time, and make sure you check out that size chart because they're pretty much accurate for the most part. If they say that's what it is, then that's what it is. I have not yet had to send anything back yet. So that is it for my Amazon haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is something new and different for me. I have never been very comfortable about being in the camera full body, so I actually had a lot of fun with this, so I can't wait to do some more. So if there are any other things on Amazon or any other place you wanna see me try on or haul, make sure you comment below. I hope this video was helpful, so make sure you share this with all your friends and your family. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Vandy Vanity. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I love each and every one of y'all, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.